people do not care to understand how nature's law is going on. Nature's law means God's law. Nature is not independent. Ah, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya dhakshena prakriti svyate sacharatana. Nature is a machine. To do thing, a machine works without an operator. Do you think? Is there any evidence? Huh? Now this is a machine, photography, a wonderful machine. It is taking the picture and it will move. But there is an operator. Where is the machine which is working without operator? Can you give any example? Here is a machine which is working without operator. So how do you think that the nature machine is working without the supreme operator, God's instruction? How do you think it? This is not very reasonable. Uh, we have to judge. There are different evidences. One of the evidence is hypothesis. That hypothesis is that because we see that no machine works without operator. Therefore we should conclude it. Even though we do not know what is God, what is the nature, we must conclude it that this nature is working under some supreme operator. That is God. It is not necessary to see the operator, but we can guess that there must be operator. So human life is meant for finding out who is there to operate. That is human life. Otherwise it cats and dogs like they're eating, sleeping, mating and dancing, that's all. That is not human life. You must find out who is the operator. Athata Brahma Jigyasa. This is called in Sanskrit word. Now this human form of life is meant for inquiring about the supreme operator. Now that supreme operator, Krishna, is so kind. He is giving evidence in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya dhakse napakiti syate sacharatram. Now here I am. Under my direction, the prakriti, the nature, material nature is working. So you accept, then your business is done. And Krishna gave evidences how he is controlling the nature. When Krishna was seven years old, he lifted one big mountain on his finger. That means the we our understanding is that there is law of gravitation. By law of gravitation, such a big mountain. It cannot stay in one man's finger. That is our calculation. But he did it. That means he counteracted the law of gravitation. That is God. So if you believe this, then you, are, you know God immediately. There is no difficulty. Just like if if the child is born, my dear child, do not touch fire. It will burn you. So if the child accepts, then he gets the perfect knowledge immediately. If the child does not accept, he wants to make experiment, then he will burn his finger. So our process of knowledge we should take from the supreme authority. Then we save time for research work. That is Krishna consciousness movement. We take perfect knowledge from Krishna. I may be imperfect, just like child is imperfect. I may be imperfect, you may be imperfect. But if you take the perfect knowledge from the Supreme Perfect, then your knowledge is perfect. Ah. That is the process. This is called avarohopantha, knowledge coming, deductive knowledge. Uh, so everything is there, and if you uh, like to 
take advantage of this movement, make your life perfect, go back to home, back to Godhead, then fully utilize the center, our Melbourne center, come here, read our books, and argue, try to understand with your full knowledge, no blindly acceptance. Uh, there is reason, there is argument, there is philosophy, there is science, everything is there. Uh, and if you accept that simply by chanting, I shall realize, that is also allowed. Uh, both ways. If you accept this simple process, the chant Hare Krishna and realize God, that is also fact. And if you think, what is this nonsense, chanting Hare Krishna, then you read books. Both ways we are prepared. Come and take advantage of this moment. Thank you very much. Jai. Jai.